What is going on 5.9 Gamers? It's me Nata here and today with Vilify we're going to be going over what I think is the best Dokkan event that really has been released in the past 7 years which again is pretty crazy to think about but as time goes on Dokkan will always approve and I feel like this game has a lot left into it. Going on from there though we are going to be of course talking about the Dokkan All-Stars Extreme Z Battle which will be coming out later today on the global version of the game. Now, what this video will be covering is how exactly you want to beat this event, which has a total of 999 stages, and the rewards that you're going to get from this event as well. With our personal experiences, we'll should be able to help you, of course, beat this event pretty easily. Let's just hop right into it. So, we do have the effective categories for this event, and it essentially goes from the release order of the anime. So, you start from Dragon Ball Saga, then you move into you know, Z with the Saiyan Saga, Android Cell Saga, you know, Planet Namek Saga. Not in that specific order, right? But you guys get the point. Then to GT with like GT Bosses, Shadow Dragon Saga. Then all the way to Super with, you know, Universe Survival Saga, Future Saga. And you just go in chronological order of how the timeline actually happened in the anime. And in total, you do get, again, a very, very nice amount of rewards. And I'll let my buddy Vilify break that down for you. All right, so let's go ahead and start with what everybody is most excited about, and that is the sheer amount of dragon stones that come with this event. And now, just for beating all of these alone, you get 277 dragon stones. So, you know, with discounts and stuff for the worldwide download celebration coming up, that's probably a rotation on both banners just for beating this alone. So, a lot of good stones, and you know, you can use those however you want to do that. But I think what really is good about this, aside from the stones, is the fact that you just get so many Kai's, right? Like you get nine of each typing for Grand Kai's, and then I think it's five Elder Kai's on top of that. So a total of 50 Super Attack level ups from whatever it may be, whatever units you want to put those on. And then for Zenny, we have 27 regular SSR Hercule statues and three UR Hercule statues. So if you don't like farming Zenny, you're going to get this all you're at it. And maybe the best reward out of all of it, if we're being honest, is just the sheer amount of potential orbs that we have from this. I'm looking here, it says we get 38,450 small orbs, 24,870 medium orbs, and 21,000, or 21,000, 2,145 large orbs of each typing. So if you're a player that is struggling for orbs, we know that STR orbs are a low point for most players as they just seem to do a lot of free to play units that are STR and a lot of top tier units just seem to be that typing for God knows why. But uh, you know, you're going to have almost 40,000 of these. So, you know, if you also have your orbs stacked up at this point, you're probably going to be looking at an inventory where all of your small orbs are 100,000 plus. And this is going to really help you kind of buff up your characters that you might not have been able to invest into because you didn't have orbs in the first place. But, you know, if you really are concerned about this one, you get one little uh, training shirt item of each type. That's huge. And then for completing stage 300, you will receive five uh, turtle shells of each typing a five gravity chambers for the double xp and one incredible hourglass now i know you're all you know doing this event for the incredible hourglass so you want to make sure that you get that yeah, that's the best part of the event mm -hmm. right and i would say you know again like Pai said you want to save these for the worldwide download celebration obviously that's the one upcoming very soon but you don't have to clear all these stages instantly this event is permanent so if you're you know can't be it with one certain unit that you know one certain team category that you need to use that's fine right i would say you know just for my general experience the potential orbs really helped me like stabilize my account and i just have like i feel like infinite orbs at this point <laughs> after doing this event it's insane like especially medium orbs that's enough medium orbs to rainbow like 10 units and i'm sure especially many free to play players getting you know to 55 percent that's probably like a good 20 25 units which is actually absurd right mm -hmm. And yeah, from there, we'll just talk about basically our own experiences of how this raid event went. So I know both me and Vilify did clear this event within like the first day or two it went out. And these events are actually generally easy for the most part, which is a good thing. I personally went to around like stage 700 to 800 using the LR Super Saiyan for Gogeta team and sometimes the LR Gods team, depending on the typing. And the year seven anniversary LR has just totally destroyed this team. You know, you could run like a Goku family team, really any of these top tier teams I've seen a lot of people using. 
and until like you know i got to the really final stages like 800 plus mm -hmm. i had no difficulties clearing the bosses and taking no damage at all uh yeah i think you said it really well but there you, you um there's like a threshold to it right uh, for me it came up around the universe 6 portion because that is when the friend saga leads or friend saga but the friend support leads become really bit like scarce like how many people are running kefla or hit right and when the bosses start hitting units that aren't on the boost category for like 250,000 on normal attacks, that's when it really starts to get uh, tricky. And it's like, that's, uh, I, you know, just point number 1,000 to the point where the friend support or friend system needs to change. But it looks like Dokkan has no plans on doing so. So you got to kind of work around that. Yeah, I would say the most difficult ones you probably want to look out for again, like around Universe 6. I mean, even with like, you know, the Tech Hound Cleveland Tech Hit, right? You will have some troubles being some of these stages, right? It just can be annoying. Defenders of Justice, there's a portion right there where you fight, say, the Age of Copy Vegeta, right? It even mm -hmm. goes through some of this filler stuff, but you have Dread Videl as your leader, most likely. You know, you could run God Trunks to Heroes Team, but, you know, that God, that, you know, not God Vegeta, that, um, copy vegeta if he hits that videl he could hit very hard even there mm -hmm. so i found that to be annoying there is i guess there's this one funny section where two stages you fight yamcha with terrifying conquerors that wasn't really an issue but i just found that funny to point out personally <laughs> and then for me universe rival saga near the end i think especially you know just because the saga team hasn't really been buffed many times you know i found issues with like you know the 17 and golden frieza near the end i think a little bit against the jiren right but i think the like hardest boss in there is the 17 and golden frieza just because there's not like too many strong str units on that team and especially if you don't have lr god goku and hit he can they can definitely give you some troubles but it is definitely beatable even without that lr it just may take you a few attempts I'm sitting here laughing just looking at the boss list and it's like, you know, there might be a little bit of PTSD from about 849 to uh, 872 just because those are the God event uh, SSRs. It's like, uh, oh yeah, look at this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, do you guys remember these guys? Like, <laughs> that's, uh, I mean, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. I mean, you said you had trouble with the Future Saga, I believe, right? Um, uh, yeah. Before it, we started recording. Uh, yeah, it's 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 like a, what I found was a, the problem was I couldn't find many future Gohan leads and like sometimes you'd run into an int boss and you'd have like you'd be running like tech trunks as a leader or the androids. Now obviously the androids are good enough to kind of be self sustainable in there, but um, yeah, it was just a matter of like this this one is like like long right? It's like forty five stages and the odds of you finding forty five future saga leads on the friends list is what made this tricky for me. I would definitely agree, and you know, Tanabata this year did buff future saga, mm -hmm. but. It's going to be still a few months before even Global gets that, so I think that Future Saga section could be troublesome. But again, beyond that, it's really... This this event is very easy. You just kind of sit down and have it even auto sometimes on the side while you're doing something else. Mm -hmm. It's more so the time it takes, right? It took yeah. me around 17 hours or so like to beat the event in total in terms of the total like play time of doing the events and mm -hmm. i grinded the event all the way through basically so i'm sure it took it like vilify around the same time if i'm not mistaken right it just a little bit longer takes yeah. a lot of time yeah mm -hmm. exactly right so you just don't you don't have to rush it right there's still plenty of time before the world wide celebration comes out get it done within the next few weeks you know maybe do like a hundred at a time and regardless make sure you, i think you do want to use a majority of these stones maybe you even want to save it for superhero right and that is completely up to you but <laughs> yeah. any last things you would like to know about this event i think for me i'm pretty much you know covered what i would say is one of the most important details yeah i think you covered everything that's the most important but yeah like you said you got to remember that it is one of those permanent events so if you really are struggling and you can't get through with it just yet uh, i wouldn't rush it, it it's like uh do it at your own pace and make sure that you know you're not playing the game any more than you feel like you have to. Uh, if you want to get it done, it's gonna be a grind. Like you gotta, you gotta have to kind of lock yourself in and be like, okay. Uh, if you're at like 900, it's like, all right, just put your head down and get these last 99 stages done, and then you don't have to touch it ever again because there's no point to go back in here. There's no. Uh, it's like, how does this unit look in the All Star raid, right? It's like just you know, you'll never touch it again. So just <laughs> yeah. just get just get it's through it. Funny. Yeah, right. Just get through it and just like you know, forget it ever even happened. Just enjoy your almost 300 stones exactly that and you know whatever you get with those stones i do hope you all guys get lucky let us know if you're going to be grinding the you know stage instantly or if you're going to weigh in the comments below what you're going to use the stones for 
and what your favorite reward would be because i think people may even say the orbs right but besides that it's been me and vilify we'll catch you all in the next video peace out mm -hmm.